Now, one of the strategies that Beijing has come up with is the use of so-called sponge cities, finding out how they're helping cut down on pollution. Feng Yu has a look on how the program works. Just as the name suggests, these sponge cities are to effectively absorb, filter, collect and use rainfall. So far, 16 cities have been shortlisted as pilot cities, and about 130 across the country have mapped out plans to join them in the future. For city planners, it's been a big headache to overcome water shortages and urban flooding. That's why they need the help of new urban designers, such as Zhou Yubo. Building sponge cities show more emphasis on utilizing natural resources and sustainable development. It requires urban designers and builders to raise efficiency and reduce costs. Earlier this year, Zhou and his team built their own rain garden. Their design and technology illustrate the basic ideas of sponge cities. Rain garden can absorb downpour from road, rooftop, or even condensed water from the air conditioner. The water is filtered by garbage wall and gravel, and is then infiltrated under the ground. Extra water is saved in a cistern buried below the street. The rain garden ensures rainwater becomes available for plants. Establishment of the sponge cities has spurred innovation and demand for urban design. However, huge investments are required to make them a reality. In the coming three years, China will allocate between 400 million and 600 million yuan annually to the pilot cities for infrastructure building. But experts say it still needs the active participation of private sector, the involvement of the so-called public-private partnership. It requires the transformation from traditional procurement to public-private partnership. The PPP form will introduce private sector technology and innovation, provide better public services, and deliver projects in time and within budget. With innovative urban designs, and most importantly, with efficient cooperation between the government and private sector, China is going to up its game in utilizing one of the most precious natural resources. Feng Yu, CCTV. Beijing.